Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. So glad you're joining me today in the studio. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com for those of you that don't already know who I am. So today's paper crafting class is pre-recorded uh, because I'm on vacation. So today is Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. Yes, and we are gonna do some paper crafting fun today. I've got a fast, easy one for you, but I think it's kind of cool, right? Um, I do have a sneak peek behind me. So those are the three projects that we will be doing at our next bingo event. So that's happening on June 24th. Registration closes on June 10th. So go ahead and get your uh, registrations in for that so that you don't miss all the fun. I send you a little um, swag bag that's got some goodies in it. We're going to make uh, three projects and we're going to play six games of bingo for fun. It's a great card class. I hope that you will join us. There is a link on my website under my events tab, creativelyyours.com is where you'll find that. Or join my email list and you will keep up with all of my events that are happening. I send those right out to my email subscribers with the links to just sign up for things, right? All right, let's go ahead and switch the camera over and start our paper crafting fun. Yay! All right, good deal. So today we're going to do something using some of our paper scraps um, to make a fun card. And I've actually made two versions of it. I, this was the first one I made. And I did white on white. And I had a little more spacing on my strips of paper there. And I didn't love how it turned out. Um, it was a little too spaced for me. So I made an adjustment, pulled in a boho blue layer, and put my paper strips a little closer together, and mixed in some of the darker patterns as well, and then switched my uh, sentiment the Knight of Navy versus the Boho Blue. And I think this one really pops. This is nice. This white one is nice, but I really like where this one pops and goes with this one. So we're going to make a version of this. We are featuring the Layering Leaves stamp set. This is the stamp set that we're going to use at the bingo event in June. So um, it's a great stamp set. I love the sentiments are really versatile and I love the size of them. They're nice and large. So today we're only using the sentiments for this fantastic card, but this is a great way to use up some of those scraps, right? We've got so many scraps. Um, so we always need other projects to use up scraps. And of course, we're going to bring um, the vellum to the inside. It adds such a nice soft touch, kind of frames the card, makes it a little extra special. I could have brought in the designer paper as well. I didn't in this one. I, I left it um, as is. So let's move that over and let's get started. I'm going to show you, let's start with the boho blue layer and um, and cutting that piece. If I can find where I've done. Uh, there we go. So uh, the video will have uh, the full uh, supply list with links so you can find everything in my online store. Um, and then you'll have the cut dimensions as well to recreate this on your own. So sorry about the ring light reflection. Uh, not much I can do about that. But I've got a piece of boho blue. This is uh, five inches by three and three quarters. And I'm going to cut it in half diagonally. So I am going to put this top point over at the one and a half inch mark on my trimmer. And then I'm gonna rotate this opposite point on this other end at, and it's at one and a half inches on my trimmer as well. I'm gonna slide this up maybe so you guys can see it just a smidge better. There we go. Now, this can vary each one, but you're basically cutting it in half. So you're gonna be able to do two cards. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. And now I've got two pieces. They're not exact, but that's okay. They don't have to be exact, but that is going to be the piece that I'm going to use to ad adhere my strips to. So we only need one of them. We'll make another card later. And I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet because I am getting ready to make everything sticky, right? So um, grab a strip of paper and it doesn't matter which print. So I've pulled in some prints. I've got some little strips. They're five eighths of an inch. You can go narrower, wider, mix and match, whatever makes your heart happy. And I am using the paper from the Countryside Inn Designer Series Paper Pack. This one right here. So that is on page 63 of the catalog. Um, this is the product suite that this month's all-star tutorial bundle, 
bundle features. So you can earn the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for free when you place a minimum $50 order in with me on my online store. You can call me, text me, we'll get you all worked out, um, and you can get that bundle for free. Or you can choose to purchase it for $15. So if you're outside of the U.S., I cannot order product for you, but I can sell you that bundle if you'd like, that video class bundle if you'd like. It's 12 uh, various tutorials, and they are typically fantastic. And this month is no exception. They are good, 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 good projects. All right. So I am going to uh, take my strips, and I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back. Just going to run some adhesive. And then I'm going to start, I found that at the bottom, I actually like it if I kind of come down to this point and angle this up like so, right? And if I didn't get enough adhesive, I can always lift this up a little bit and put a little more adhesive. I wanna make sure I get it all the way to my edges, right? Now I'm gonna clip this off just in case I want this. Normally I wait wait to the end, but I might want that little bunny uh, print. So let's see how we, how we go as we go here, right? All right, so I've got my first strip down. Let's see, let's go to our next one. We can kind of lay these out if you want and kind of see what order we want to put them in. Like that one might be nice next. I've got some smaller strips I kind of want to keep um, at a little different spot, right? They need to be up higher because it's narrower. Um, is that long enough? Nope. There we go, we could do that. It'll barely fit there. What do you guys think? Like that? I think I'm gonna go with that. So let's slide these off. I'm gonna set them to the side. Like I said, the order of your strips really doesn't matter. It's whatever makes your heart happy. All right, so I'm going to flip this over and add some adhesive again to the back of my strip. And I'm gonna eyeball this. You can put as much space between or as little space as you want between each of these layers, right? And let's see. Okay, I'm going to put some adhesive on the next one. Oh, got glue on my surface. Perfect. Am I going to be able to make, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to make that one work. I like the variation in colors that we've got going on with that print. All right, and let's get this one in there. I could have pulled in that bunny, but I think I'm gonna stay with what I've got. Just my variation in color here. Mix and match my prints. So you can use either side of your paper. You can use all the same if you really want it to. All right, so once you've got all your paper strips down, we're just gonna carefully lift this off our silicone craft sheet. It's okay that we've got stickiness everywhere. And we're just gonna use our snips and we're gonna cut away this excess paper. Now you can save these strips and use them on another card. Like I said, we're gonna make two with this layer. So you're gonna have some parts left over that you can use, but we're just gonna clip this away. Now you could use your trimmer to clip this away as well, but with the adhesive on there, I prefer to just use my snips, right? Cause it's gonna to stick to everything. Now I could have put the adhesive on directly on the boho blue cardstock instead of on the designer paper strips. Um, but I found that after making a few of these that I did better if I put it right on the designer paper strip. It's sticking to my scissors a little bit here. We'll get it, not too worried. All right, great. Nice thing about that being sticky is that it's easy to pick up my bits. All right, so I've got my piece right here. Kind of fun, right? A little different than the one I'd already done, but it's still, I think, fantastic. All right, so this next part I think is kind of fun. So I want to add a little bit of texture and I don't know if you can see this. See that right there, those little score lines? Hopefully you guys can see that in camera. I wanna add those to my, my next layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my Simply Scored, if I can get it in here, right? Let's move all of our things out of our way. Make sure I have this in camera for you guys so you can see it. Yes. Now, my Simply Scored, I have marked every one inch with a Sharpie. So that's what those marks are, the black and purple marks. I find that that helps 
tremendously, especially when I'm doing something like this. All right. So I know that I want this right here. And then I want those score lines here, but I want them facing up. So that means I need to score on the back side. So before I put this down, I'm going to put that so that that right side is against my white layer. And then I'm going to use these marks to find my score line that I want to align to. So I'm 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 aligning it to this cut edge of this boho blue. Okay. So I'm actually in the channel over one from what is marked on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to use my scoring tool and I am going to just score the white paper. So let me just double check that I've got this straight. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. If it's off a little bit, it's off a little bit. I'm not gonna let that stress me out. Now, I have to position my body so that I am perpendicular to my scoreboard so that I don't jump channels, right? So I'm just gonna get that started and I'm gonna work my way straight across that layer. All right, so score line one is done. Now, I could go ahead and move to the next one or if I want to make sure that I'm following the same line and I'm, and I'm worried about it, I can slide this over. I no longer need this layer, really. I can just keep that white layer. I've got this score line marked in that channel now, so I'll go over back to the one I've got marked. And again, start another one and pull it straight down towards me. Now, I don't want to go so hard that I tear my paper, but I want a nice, deep, score line because it's all about that texture I'm adding. So I slid it over one more time. Let's do a third one. Now, if your score lines aren't 100% even with each other, it's okay. I wouldn't let that deter you. But now we've got those great textures right on that layer. So when we add this, it's, it kind of highlights that. I really like that. So it's just a little different, different way to add some fun element to your project, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this before I put this layer down. And the reason I'm gonna do that is if I mess up, I could flip it over and yes, I won't have the raised score lines that I was hoping for, but I um, would still have the texture. So I might be able to still use it. I actually probably be going the wrong way. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't drop this, right? Night and Navy ink. And I'm going to pull in, thank you so much. So I did hello on the first one, right? And then I've got uh, thanking you on the other one. So let's do a thank you. And this one's a little wider. So I have to put this one up a little higher than I did my hello, right? Because it's a little longer and I don't want it to run into my score line there. Nice. So that turned out pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere this together. Like I said, today's card is fast and easy. Easy peasy. All right. So it's on craft sheet. So that way I can get all the way down to my corner. So I'm going to put my adhesive around my edge here. And then I want to make sure I come off that corner. And the great thing about the silicone craft sheet is that then that adhesive is not going to stick to anything except for the cardstock, which I love. One of my favorite things about silicone craft sheet. All right, now my layer is down. Cute, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's build the rest of the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my vellum layer and I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Perfect. And let's just add a couple extra. Won't hurt anything. All right. And then I can center this right on my vellum. Oh, I just realized on my original, I did not pop this up on the vellum. I did it flat on the vellum and then popped it up on the card. Well, we'll see how that turns out. And looks. Yeah. So I mean, you stamp and seal or you can use liquid glue. Sometimes it's difficult to add um, adhesive over the top of dimensionals. So let's see what I do with my card base. So yeah, so I changed it up even from my original here. All right, so this is a thick white basic card base, just a half sheet of cardstock. 
I'm folding it in half, giving it a good crease with my bone folder. And then I can add my layer right on the front. Okay, nice. So do you like that with this layer popped or the vellum? Like here I had hatched it to the vellum and then popped up the vellum. I think they're both kind of nice. Hmm, I have to think about that. All right, so let's add a little bling. So I have the new adhesive back sparkle gems. Oh, these are gorgeous. They're like little diamonds, I love them. Now, I love our rhinestones, but these have some exceptional sparkle in them, making them one of my new faves. We have so many great embellishments in the new catalog. All right, just put a sprinkling. Yeah, aren't those just wonderful? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like a party, go into a party. All right, so let's bring our design to the inside. So I'm gonna keep with the same sentiment and do the sending hugs. Let me grab my foam pad. I have my navy ink pad. And we'll just stamp sending hugs. Nice. And then we'll add our layers to the inside and we are done. All right. We'll stamp and seal and get that down on the vellum layer first. Okay, and then we can add this to the inside of our card base to finish it off. Really nice bringing that little touch of vellum to the inside, I think. This makes it a little more special, right? Makes your card unique from something that somebody else sent them. So it's simple, super simple. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you like it better on the white? Weight on white without adding that boho blue layer? Or do you like it with the boho blue layer? I kind of like the boho blue layer. Let you see all three. So if you enjoyed today's project, be sure to leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, share the projects with uh, your crafty friends. I'd love to have them join us on Tuesdays for some crafty fun. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you watching and being here with me. And I will catch you again next Tuesday. Thanks so much and bye for now.